Hey guys, so we're back with some more Vancouver GM mode, and we're here on the penalty kill line screen, because I already made some changes to it. I put Hensick and Klingberg in place of, I believe it was Horvat and Bogosian. Yeah, so I'll just, uh, I'll do the same here for the three-man penalty kill besides, uh, besides Horvat. Horvat can stay there for the three-man, because I want to try to get some offense maybe on the penalty kill. Uh, that's my theory that I'm hoping works here, because uh, we're at the trade deadline, and we don't have much time left to improve our team, so I'm hoping that works. If it doesn't work, then uh, we'll go back to whatever we had for the playoffs. So, And we're probably making the playoffs. I mean, uh, well, actually, you know what? It is a tight race, so you never know. Uh, every point every point counts. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we're three points ahead of sixth in Pacific in the Pacific Division, so it is it is a very tight race. So th these uh, next few games are definitely uh, important. So let's uh, simulate a day before the trade deadline. There you go, nice win. And then uh, San Jose here, they're really good. And we lose 6-5. That's fine. Uh, well, it's not really fine. They're a Pacific Division team. We need to get on those uh, get on those teams there. So I don't think we're going to make any trades. Uh, I think we're fine. Uh, and uh, we are we are set. <laughs> Hopefully. So let's go. I know it's been a while. Uh, with the, well, not a while. Just. Uh, my videos have been, uh, you know, uploaded uh, two days after another, and not my regular upload schedule, I know, but uh, finals are coming up, so i got to study for those, and I do have some uh, Rocket League episodes pre-recorded, just in case I can't do any GM mode this upcoming week, because that's going to be all finals, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to have any time to record, given how much studying needs to be done. So, and, y you know, it, I mean, this is, YouTube is a hobby and all, I mean, and and I enjoy doing it, and, like, but, uh, you know, education comes first, so, <laughs> gotta, uh, gotta study for those finals. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, we're, we're back, <laughs> uh. And I don't know if there will be any GM mode uh, during uh, finals, as I said, because I am going to have a lot to do. But I do, as I said, I do have uh, uh, some Rocket League videos pre-recorded and ready for you guys, just so uh, just to satisfy your uh, your need for some We Was the Pony videos. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay, so. Ooh, not looking too good right now. Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, putting the penalty kill back to the way it was, unless the penalty kill's not the problem now. What, what, what's going on, boys? Maybe I should have made a trade. <laughs> uh, come on. Colorado, if we lose this one, I'm stopping the sim. jeez. Oh, All right, yeah, stopping the sim. What's going on? <laughs> we can't be doing this this late in the season, boys. Uh, we're 18. We dropped to 18th in the league now. We were 10th, but we dropped to 18th. Oh man, it is not looking good. We have 78 points. Are you kidding me? Goals for per game, 14th in the league, 2.96. Goals against per game, 2.97. Uh, 19th. Power play is fifth. So it's our power play isn't isn't uh, really killing us. Ooh. Dead last. That was not a good coaching decision. Yeah, I'm going to put the penalty kill back. <laughs> Dead last for penalty kill. My God. 76%. That's terrible. Penalty kill. Yeah, let's put uh, Horvat and uh, Jones back on there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was not a good decision. That was terrible. All right, so hopefully we can make up for that here, because actually now, oh my God, are you can oh, that I may have just cost us the playoffs, boys. Oh my God.
That's ter- <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. Oh my god, look at this. Look at... <laughs> uh, and we can't make any trades now either. <sighs> All right, solid win against Chicago, but still, man, 33 losses. Uh, <laughs> we have five games left. Let's see. Let's make the most of them. Uh, we, we're going to have to win all the rest of these games if we even want a chance at the playoffs, so come on. <sighs> yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> I mean, that was an overtime loss, so, you know, maybe, maybe, but we have to win these next last three games. If we even want a remote shot, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're, I don't think we're making it. There was, <laughs> the teams ahead of us, yeah, we're not making it. <laughs> the teams ahead of us were way too uh, far ahead at that point. We we just went on way too much of a losing streak. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> oh Vancouver, I have no idea what to do anymore, boys. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, all right, last game of the season. Oh man. Uh, I mean, we lost that w or won. We won that one. <laughs> uh, but <sighs> team set. <sta> oh, <man. laughs> Dead last in the Pacific Division. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, uh... <laughs> uh, that was a bonehead decision there. Uh, by myself. Uh, maybe I should have moved Zadorov uh, up to the first slot. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this team. <laughs> I was hoping we could make the playoffs so I could have something to put up for uh, the time when I'm uh, taking finals, but <sighs> we're not making the finals in this uh, in this world here. Oh my god, I, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with, I mean, I, I'd imagine it's our penalty, it could be our penalty kill, I guess, because our power play was a strong point, so I want to keep, I want to keep our forward group together, or at least our top six, I want to keep our top six together, and Colin Wilson, because he was a part of the power play, I think, yeah, he is, so I'm going to keep Colin Wilson, what do you guys think about these five down here, Horvat, Cassian, Shaw, Omar, and Dano, you guys got to let me know on that. Uh, maybe change that up in the off season even, and then, uh, uh, man, I mean, if any, if there would be anyone who I'd be willing to part with in this defensive squad, it's Bogosian, uh, for like a defensive defenseman, maybe, so we could have two defensive defensemen, two offensive defensemen, and two two-way defensemen, so, uh, I don't know what to do, <laughs> this is, this team, man. And uh, look at that, though. Uh, Hensick is up to a 90. He's going to be... <clears throat> if... Uh... Oh, man. If he gets the type of jump I'm hoping he gets, man, he's going to be... That's going to be nice. Uh, and Wegleitner, too. He's up to an 89. Maybe he could get up to, like, a 90 or 91 in the offseason. Man, that we, we probably have the best first line in the game. I mean, hold on. Look at this. Uh... Oh, wait. I'm not on the right uh, thing. I was going to... Uh switch over to the other, other uh, NHL teams, so I just want to compare first lines. Uh, eh, not as good as ours. Not as good as ours. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Not really. Nope. 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 Eh. I mean, the names are there, but not overall-wise. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, you know what, Johansson kind of brings up the two wingers, so, you know what, maybe, maybe Columbus, but, uh, ooh, oh, I forgot about Dallas, yeah, Dallas has the best first line in the game, but, still, we have one of, the, one of the best first lines in the game, so, I mean, there's no excuse why we shouldn't have made the playoffs, I mean, oh, man, that was, it's, I don't even know what to think of this team anymore, hence it got 70 assists, my God. And uh, Tarasenko with 52 goals. Yeah, we're keeping those two together. For sure. We are keeping those two together. Uh, the first line, the entire first line needs to stay together because uh, remember uh, Tarasenko and uh, Hensick started turning it on when uh, 
when Wegleitner jumped up to the first line. So I want to keep those three together for sure. I mean, yeah, Terrace, look at this. <laughs> that's that's nice looking, but still, I mean, after that sort of drops off right away <laughs> to Nichushkin with 52 points and then Huberto, Ellis, Klingberg. I mean, at least these guys are spread out a little bit, but still. Wegleitner, he was plus 15, so he did his job. These guys were plus 26, geez. And then goaltenders. Man, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. This team is just, man, I don't, I don't understand it. Well, let's follow Utica then. Ah, uh, yeah, they're not making the playoffs. 25. Jeez, it's not a good year for Vancouver, man. It's, I mean, hold on, not calendar. I mean, just, just look at this. <laughs> That's going to say DNQ as soon as uh, the playoffs are over, or uh, as soon as it transitions into the playoffs. I mean, jeez. That's terrible. I mean, at last year, at least we made the playoffs. <laughs> That's so bad. Honestly. But you know what? Let's sim up, sim up to next time the scout's going to appear. Then we'll do the retirements, and then we'll end it off. Then I guess I'll uh, do the off season as well, so I can have some content to put out uh, next week. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to record at all. Uh, but... Yeah, man, that's that's terrible. <sighs> Neither our AHL or NHL team made the playoffs, and Vancouver is just—I don't know, man. It's <laughs> it's really uh, nothing good has happened here yet. We've passed a year eight, and nothing has happened. Best we've had is a second round exit. That's terrible. That is terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Two more years. To win the Stanley Cup. And we haven't, we haven't even passed 100 points yet. Man, it's, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. <laughs> For the Vancouver Canucks. Oh man. I, I think honestly they might have a better chance at real life than uh, in this game. I mean, seriously, how do you fail this bad? Ugh. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna check the GM tracker one more time here. I mean, yeah, look at this. <laughs> we let up the most goals this year since year four. My God, look at this. 86 points. This is terrible, man. I mean... <laughs> uh, I mean... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to think of something before, you know, the draft. Because uh, right now it's not looking too good. Oh dear. Yeah, we might be uh unloading some people at the at the draft. Might be. I'm still not sure. But uh I think maybe uh Dano could go or I don't know. You guys got to weigh in on that. Uh Stanley Cup champions of the St. Louis Blues. All right. So actually before we get to the retirements, I want to check out St. Louis's lineup. See what they have that we don't. Come on, stop the sim. There you go, okay. Coaching options, view... We can't view lines. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll view contracts then. St. Louis. So, they... Oh, yeah. They have Pierre-Luc Dubois... 
They have Petrangelo, obviously. They have Schottenkirk. They have Kane. Schwart. <laughs> and of course, Bobrovsky. Oh my god. It just had to go that way, didn't it? Just had to. And Korolik. Bobrovsky and Korolik. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. Vanelli, Fleury, Voracek. Who they have for and, and of course, you know, Evander Kane. You know, why not? Just just rub it in. Rub it in. Why don't you St. Louis? Oh my god, look at this. I mean, they do have a pretty deep forward core, but still. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> and they do have a top two defenseman. Or two, two top two defensemen. But I mean... Hampus Lindholm and uh, Nikita Zadorov should be our top two defensemen, so... Oh, man, I don't know what to do anymore. Jeez. I mean, that's just... <laughs> that's putting salt in the wound right there. St. Louis winning the Stanley Cup. Bobrovsky, Evander Kane, and uh, Alexei Korolik. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's terrible. All right, let's see. Any retirements? No. Yeah, we're a pretty young team. I mean, we're not that young, but we, uh, we're we not old. So, anyway, I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll get the offseason done. So, I'll see you guys then.